William Carlos Williams was one of the Herald's uh, masters, and he talked about him all the time, and he published a book of letters between the two of them, and Harold uh, liked the idea of the, of the emphasis on the, on the American idiom. And it's the same reason that Harold's greatest inspiration was, uh, as you probably could guess, was Leaves of Grass, but particularly Song of Myself, which he read as a 16-year-old in Brooklyn. But, but the next one was Williams, who he also came to know. And he said something really great to me once. Here is this great poet, and he went out there um, to visit him, and he thought he was going to meet this awesome, erudite person, and he said he was the most plain-speaking, uh, indeed, common-language person you'd ever want to meet, and, and he was immediately at ease. And, uh, and instead of him asking about poetry, Williams kept asking Harold. And I thought that was very charming. But this is one of the one of the greatest uh, tributes uh, uh, from one poet to another. I love the way it starts. I want to thank you for the pink locust and the white mule, for the keen scalpel, scalpel that carved memorable poetry. Those silvery lines will shine on like a harvest moon through infinite trees. You pulled a jazzy native song out of the womb of America, meant to be heard like a jukebox singing pop tunes. We can't forget your sound. I want to thank you for being alive, although you're dead and buried where the Passaic runs by the parks and Jersey dumps. Your Ballywick, thanks for singing of used car lots and the broken brain that tells the truth about us. Your surgical cool fingers cut through formal literary crap labeled pure American. I see you are at the door in Rutherford clutching my shoulders in welcome, eyes flashing as we sit and talk till the light is gone. You wring your hands and paw the ground like a racehorse on the skid, smelling death. You pace and whinny. You are coltish, amazingly young, your high voice agitated. Jesus, what clean, hygienic genie inhabits your anguish. Old age, disease, the black earth in your throat. But that greeny flower, your asphodel, still flourishes. Thanks for our famous garden party in the backyard with roses. We sat hearing a concrete mixer, the radio blaring from the army surplus store, appropriate message for the language you never tired of, not English, but plain American speech. That you loved as much as stinking dumps and immigrant women of your landscape. I'll experiment till I die. What heaven do you experiment in now? Is the asphodel blowing in the junkyard of God, abandoned, chariot wheels rusty and clogged, with cold dust maybe? Do angelic choirs sing in the variable foot? So that's a, that's a, my, my take.